Thank you, Harry. Nice to be here. Everybody feeling good? Good. I'm feeling good. I recently got married. Thanks, none of you. Thanks, none of you. I'm glad I'm married, because I used to have a lot of weird dates. Like, I went to one of those dating services. If you go, lie. That's what I like to do. I told them, like, to smoke cigars, go to horse races and ball games. So they set me up with some guy named Lou. <laughs> Big thing now, celibacy. People are giving up sex. I met a guy the other day. He's five foot tall, bald, weighs 300 pounds, boils all over his face. Says he's dedicated to a life of celibacy. Like he's got a choice. <laughs> See, my trouble on dates, I already said the wrong thing. You know? Like, I'm going out with this one lady, we're watching Wheel of Fortune, because I know how to treat a date. <laughs> TV and a pot pie. <laughs> we're watching it, she goes, if you had a chance, would you go out with Vanna White? Yeah. She gets mad. She goes, you mean you'd rather go out with her than me? I says, I'm kidding. Why would I want to go out with a glamorous blonde who makes 100,000 a year? I'm going to go out with a fat ass bitch like you who nags me all the time. <laughs> I must be goofy. My wife gets mad at me, too. I'm not handy around the house. I'm not good at fixing things. I learned at an early age, better to be useless and inept than be handy and work your ass off every weekend. <laughs> That's a tip from your Uncle <laughs> Act like an idiot, you get out of work. Now, another thing I gotta get used to, my wife has two cats. I've never been used to cats, I always had dogs, but... One thing, at least the cats are housebroken. Like, I had a dog who used to always crap on a rug. So he stuck his nose in it, he became addicted. <laughs> He's up to like four piles a day. <laughs> My house is like a minefield. <laughs> they say dog is man's best friend. I don't believe that. How many of your friends you have neutered? <laughs> yeah, I like you so much, Joe. I'm gonna whack your nuts off. Then I'm gonna tie up and feed you bones. Cause you're my pal. <laughs> but now I got cats, they're nice, we got two cats. Well, they're my wife's cats, so they're my step cats. <laughs> we got two, Misha and Alex. You could tell a woman names a cat like that. Women always have sensitive names. Muffy, Buffy, Fluffy. Guys names cats, things like Tuna Breath, Fur Face, Meow Head. <laughs> they're nice cats, they've been neutered and they've been declawed, so they're like pillows that eat. <laughs> That's all they do, sleep and eat. Pisses me off, they won't tell me how they got the job. <laughs> you know what gets me about cats, too? They're always licking themselves, then they choke on the hairballs. <laughs> you know, if I almost died every time I took a bath, I think I'd rather stink. <laughs> but what I can't get used to, the cats wake us up. 6.30 in the morning, Misha comes in, he weighs about 15 pounds. He jumps on me, then he sits right in my face. And I'm up in a second. Because you can take alarms with music, buzzers, nothing wakes you up faster than a whiff of a cat's ass. You'll be up and on the street in less than a minute. I'm gonna market at the cat ass alarm. Wakes you up and clears your sinuses. A good place for a stick up. I got one of those daisies on his ass. It's, it's a breath of fresh air in the morning. But I love them, they're our family. I got a nice family. My, my in-laws are nice, that's a good thing. Except we had trouble a couple weeks ago, my brother-in-law got hit by a car. Last time I drink and drive. <laughs> I didn't hit him, he, get, he got hit though. Now we had to go to the hospital. You ever go, what is it with all the technology they have? Why can't they invent a gown where your ass don't hang out the back? <laughs> Does that give them power over you? I guess it's hard to get lippy when there's wind blowing up your crack. <laughs> Well, they try to humiliate you, don't they? Like, they make you pee in a bottle. I hate that. I was in the hospital a couple years ago. A nurse came in and said, you got to pee in a bottle. When she left, I poured Mountain Dew in there. <laughs> she came back in and I chugged it. <laughs> she was puking for days. <laughs> it's a sick world and I'm a happy guy. <laughs> and a sick crowd. I like this crowd. I am a happy guy, it's nice to be here on Showtime, because I got cable, I'm sure most of you got it now. Did they do this to you when you order their cable? I order it, they call me up, they go, we'll be over to install it between eight and five. <laughs> oh, thanks for narrowing it down. <laughs> I'll send you a check between now and next December. <laughs> Watch a lot of TV, I do a lot of reading. I was reading that book by Dr. Ruth Westheimer, you ever read it? Good Sex. 
I'm gonna write my own book, Bad Sex. <laughs> then I read, Dr. Ruth is a grandmother. That's sick. You're supposed to go to your grandma's for milk and cookies, not rubbers and KY jelly. <laughs> Grandpa, quit hogging that love doll. <laughs> Here's something I read could help you folks. They claim, scientists claim, sex helps your memory. That could come in handy. You lose your keys, honey, bend over. <laughs> oh, yeah, I left them in my coat. Thanks, dear. Thanks, honey. Write that down. That's another tip from your Uncle Lur. <laughs> Trying to help you folks. A lot of drugs in the news. I was reading they invented a home drug testing kit for parents. You take your kid's urine sample, then you mail it to the lab. I'll bet that makes Postman real happy. <laughs> I like carrying 50 bottles of urine on a hot August day. That's a day at the beach. How about boy George? He admitted to doing heroin. That's a real shack. Guy wears makeup and a dress does drugs too? Who'd believe it? Next, they're gonna tell us he's a fag. Cut it out. It's a lot of weird music, boy George. Punk rock's weird. I went to one of those punk rock clubs. You ever go? It's wild. I walk in. They're supposed to be dancing. Her jump around looks like they're having spasms. This girl comes up me. She's not a dance. She says, no, but I can do that shit. <laughs> Hoping he asks what a hot iron. I'll do that all day. <laughs> then the waitress had a mohawk and a nail in her nose. Then she wanted a tip. I says, why don't you kill yourself? <laughs> yeah, dizzy bitch. That's a tip from your Uncle Lair. I go to a lot of weird places. I went to one of those porno movies. I know, you're shot. A guy like me would go. I didn't want to go, my mom made me. My sister's first big film. I told you it's a sick world, I'm a happy guy. So never go, it's disgusting. I'm sitting in a porno theater, guy next to me starts playing with himself. Piss me off, he's using my hand. Hey, you've been a great crowd, thanks a lot. Good night.